Question number six, the Honourable Annette King. My question to the Minister of Spe uh, <coughs> Health, Mr Speaker. What action, if any, has he taken to ensure all New Zealanders receive services in a timely manner? The Honourable Dr Jonathan Mr. Coleman. Mr Speaker, there's been a wide range of actions over the term of this government to increase timely access to health services, including a $4.2 billion funding increase. The latest example is the National Telehealth Service, which is providing New Zealanders with timely health advice and support via phone, text and online channels. And today I visited the service to mark its first anniversary. The service, staffed by registered nurses, mental health and addiction specialists and poison specialists, provides 24-7 advice, support, assessment of symptoms, triage and treatment advice. During this first year, one in ten New Zealanders have accessed the service and usage grew 16% between November 2015 and September 2016. It's an innovative solution which is producing results. Yeah. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. A uh, supplementary question, the Honourable Annette King. Why has he allowed 30 patients to have their eyesight worsen because of significant delays in eye treatment at Southern DHB, with the majority of nearly 5,000 patients waiting twice as long for an appointment than clinically recommended. The Honourable Dr Jonathan Coleman. Well, Mr Speaker, the situation at Southern DHB has not been satisfactory. We've now got a new chief executive there who has a plan in place to turn the situation around. The reality with ophthalmology is we're doing 25% more appointments and operations than when we came into government. But the wider picture is we can now do more because of the enhanced treatment and technology. So if you look at something like glaucoma, there's actually been a 100%, listen to this, a 100% uplift in those types of injections over the past five years. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, the Honourable Annie. Why was he not on top of the fact that the adverse event report from Southern DHB for 2014-15, published last year, was showing a lack of service planning, not enough appointments available, and patients waiting well beyond the government's expectation for service. The Honourable Dr Jonathan Well, Collins. as the member is well aware, we had to get in and get involved in Southern. We removed the District Health Board and we put the Commissioner in there. Uh, we were left with massive deficits there, $42 million last year, now come down to $35 million for an, with an ongoing uh, plan for increasing access to clinical services. So actually, services are going ahead in Southern. The situation is on track, and it would be great to have the members' constructive support rather than carping from the sidelines. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Never carp yourself. What a supplementary question, Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, the Honourable Annette King. Has he not been informed that even with the new national assessment tool for commitment to treat cataracts, for example, those DHBs which have implemented it continue to have huge disparities as to when a person can get an operation. For example, you need 60 points in Waikato or you need 40 points in West Coast. What? The Honourable Dr Jonathan Well, look, Collins. the situation is nowhere near as bleak as the member would like to make out. The fact is this clinical prioritisation tool, it's just been uh, finished and it's about to be implemented across the country. There's always been financial thresholds going way back in history to when Mrs King was Minister, which meant that there was changes and differences between each DHB in terms of uh, access to specific services. But the overall picture is there's an extra $4 billion that's gone into health. We're doing more operations, there's more appointments, more doctors and nurses. People are getting more timely access to services, so the member just needs to cheer up. I'm te very cheerful. Supplement oh, no, point of order, Mr Speaker. I seek order, leave to order. table two letters. Point of order, the Honourable Annette King. Yes, so am I. Yeah. Um, I seek leave to table two letters. The first is from the Waikato District Health Board, uh, received under an OIA, saying that the threshold for cataract surgery is 60 points. And the second letter? And the second one is from the West Coast District Health Board, um, received under an OIA, uh, both dated... Um, August the 16th and the other August the 10th, saying you need 40 points for a cataract operation. Leave us sort to table those two letters from DHB received under the OIA. Is there any objection to them being tabled? There is none. They can be tabled. Question 